Hello, Congressman Pete Sessions from Dallas, Texas, and it's an awesome opportunity for me to join you today as the National Art Public Policy Victory of the Year Award winner for 2015. The chance for me to be with you today is exciting, and I want to take just a few minutes and tell you about my pathway, my story, about not only becoming involved to receive this award, but the years of service that I've had uh, to the disability community. It all started on January 19, 1994, with the birth of my son, Alexander Gregory Sessions. And Alex was born uh, to a beautiful family in Dallas, Texas, a beautiful family that believed that he would be the greatest thing ever, he would be the greatest thing ever, ever, to happen to our family, and it's been true. Alexander Sessions is today 21 years old, has graduated from high school, Notre Dame uh, High School in Dallas, Texas is a Eagle Scout and a really cool guy and working through a, a relationship where he works at Fuzzy's Restaurant uh, in Dallas, Texas. Alex is a really cool guy and helped me to push legislation that began back in the year 2000. In the year 2000, I received a letter as a member of Congress from Seekerville, Texas, where young man Dylan C. James family wrote me about his condition as a Down syndrome man where his family, because they made a little bit too much money with a bonus that was paid to the dad and mom, they fell out of the ability to get Medicaid. And so the parents wrote me and said, we need help to help Dylan. And as a result of that, along with the help of Alexander Gregory Sessions and President Bush, we took a piece of legislation that was worked on for six years and signed into law by President Bush. The role that Alex played is he showed up one day at the White House and thanked his good friend, President Bush, for getting legislation done. The president, when we left, said, what legislation is that? And they referred to the Family Opportunity Act. President Bush made sure he signed that piece of legislation. Alexander Sessions is also not only as an Eagle Scout and a cool guy, a pusher of me being involved in things, but as a result of him growing a little bit older, I, the last eight years we've worked with Andrew Crenshaw to make sure that we pass legislation that would allow uh, our families to be able to openly participate with our children who might be disabled to be able to have a savings account, to be able to save for college and their future. And that is where we then came up with the ABLE Act. Andrew Crenshaw and a whole bunch of us on the Hill decided we were going to get behind this act up to and including the passage which President Obama signed into law. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that the stories that you bring of not only your family but also the attributes to public policy matter. And one of the best stories I tell about Alex actually occurred this year. And I was with a group of fraternity brothers, of which Alex is a member of our fraternity, and we were down in South Padre Island, Texas. And I got in late with Alex, and he noticed there was a pool at the apartment complex that we were staying in. And the next morning, he got up early, sneaked down to the pool, and some of my fraternity brothers came to me and said, hey, Pete, Alex is in the pool. Well, I'd been to the apartment complex before down at South Padre Island, so I knew that it was a gate that was locked, and they knew that too. I wandered down there and saw that Alex was in there, and then I told the fraternity brothers a story about their brother, Alex Sessions, that I knew well, that so many of us knew, because as parents and as friends of people with disabilities, we see this every day. Alex actually did jump the fence. He could not read the sign that said the pool is closed, but Alex has been trained his entire life as an analogy to jump fences, to go and do the things that he sees, where he sees impediments, he is taught to find a way around them. This is his way of life. This is how he contributes, not only to make his life better, but how he sees all of it from his inability to read, 
to his inability to be exactly on the same page with everybody else. So I want you to know that what you're doing does matter, and it matters because we understand thousands of our children and millions of young adults and Americans who need an, a voice, an advocate for them, so that as they struggle through life, they will find that we are there to work to make public policy more accessible, the ability to get education to where it can be paid for, and where families can be a better part of the success of their children. So thank you very much for allowing me to be here with you today. Thank you for coming to Indiana to celebrate this important event. And I look forward to each of you coming to Washington, D.C. to tell me your story also. Thank you, and God bless each and every one of you.